Hello friends, Techman Pat here. I hope you are well. Today we're going to fix an issue that has come up a few times for people who want to add their Gmail account to show up in Outlook. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go, well, we're going to go to my desktop and we're going to show you how to get it set up and I'm going to show you the error you might get. So let's jump into my desktop. Here we have my email in the background. This is just an email I've had for a while when I was actually living back in the USA. So I created an email uh, then and I wanted to connect it up to Outlook. Uh, and there's an issue you get when connecting Outlook to um, Gmail. So let's uh, let's set up it up. So do you want to set up a Outlook account uh, to connect to your email account? Yes, we do. Um, and we're going to go call it Pat. Uh, the email is actually paternoster, uh, USA at uh, gmail.com. And I've just copied the password here. It doesn't really matter. I don't use this email, so I don't really care. And I see this, we're going to click next. And what it's going to do is going to search for it and it's going to try and connect. This is the issue you're going to face. First of all, you get an error or rather a pop up here. Uh, on the side saying, hey, somebody's trying to log in, sign attempt blocked. Um, and it says here, someone just used your password to try and sign into your account from a non Google app. Google blocked them, but you should check what happened, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. We're, we're trying to log in. If I click OK, we're just going to be in a loop. Now, this issue is what we're going to be fixing today. This is nothing wrong with your password or your account or anything like that. There's a whole bunch of steps you have to do. First of all, uh, let's go change account settings, click next, and you need to connect through the pop or IMAP account right here. Uh, select that, and you can see that it's come through with all the information that we typed in before. So uh, set it as IMAP here, imap.gmail.com in the incoming mail server. SMTP is obviously smt.gmail.com. Um, and we're gonna set it up as new Outlook data, uh, which is fine. And there's your email. No, you don't need to add a Gmail on here. It's just the, the, the bit there. And even if you click next, it will actually it will crash. Uh, from my memory, uh, it literally goes not responding uh, and it locks up. So again, another problem that a lot of people have faced because some people do like Outlook and the way it works. Now this is 2013, but it can happen to 2016 version, 2019, and actually any of them. Um, so we're just gonna have to cancel that because it's just gonna uh, crash. Now the, the, the problem is actually not because of um, Outlook. Well, let's just wait to respond. It's actually because of Google. So what you wanna do is go to your Google account. As you can see, I have never, I haven't used this in 2019. Tap on the settings here, uh, click into there. And what you'll get is this page here. And in here, you'll have a forwarding and pop an IMAP option. Oh, has that come to life? Oh, here we go, it's coming to life now. Um, and on here, if you scroll down, uh, you can see a button called status, IMAP is disabled. This is the first step you need to do. So that's in the cog settings, forward, pop an IMAP. So first we enable that and everything else is fine. Save changes, that's one thing done. But this still doesn't actually get us in. Uh, and and the, way we can test that is by just going, um, you know, click next and it'll try and connect. Even though IMAP is enabled, Google is still going to block that connection. Um, and we might even get an actual email saying, hey, a third party app connected, tried to connect again. It'll just stall on this log onto email account. This is another problem that you might face. So if you're facing this problem, this should actually fix it. So we're gonna press stop, close off, and we're gonna leave it. We actually can just come back to it in a little while. So then what I need you to do is go into your actual account and Look, I don't recommend using IMAP or uh, POP3 on Outlook with Gmail. I don't recommend it. It's not secure. It's not what you should be doing if, if it all just acts as the web. It's much more secure for yourself. But if you want to do this, tap into manage your Google account. You're gonna tap into here and it's gonna give you a bunch of options. But what we wanna click into is security. Uh, when you do click into that, you'll get a bunch of stuff. You know, I haven't even set up two verification, so I'm showing it to you here. Uh, Pat's Mac, Pat's Windows here. And this is the bit you need to click on, less secure app access. Now, if you have anything secure on this Gmail, it's not going to open this up to the world. It just means that if you have the password and if you have the email and you log into something, Google will not block attempts by third party systems like Outlook, or maybe an app that needs access. Maybe you have a security system that wants to use your account as an emailing notification system. That happens a lot. This is one of the ways you need to turn this on to actually use it. So we're gonna tap turn on, flick the button, and that's it. Just confirm, yes, it's on. Now, what I would suggest, if you have this on, make sure you have um, two-step verification or use your phone to sign in. That pop-up on your phone that says, yes, please sign in. This is what you need to have on. Once you have done that, you can jump back to your account here, press next, 
and it'll actually start logging you in. Finally, the issues have been solved. Nope, wrong again. This is Google and this is Microsoft. It's not done yet. Friends, next step, and I know this is a lot of steps. This is just something I wanted to share with you because it's a lot of troubleshooting. What you have here is fine. What you need to press next is click more settings. In here, we're gonna go into outgoing server settings and we're gonna tick this box. My outgoing server SMTP requires authentication, step one. Then tap into advanced, and this is where we start the fun. Now, Google requires a certain type of security, and what we wanna select here is SSL at the top, and this gets pre-filled to 993. On the outgoing server SMTP, you're gonna select TLS, and again, this is for Gmail. Now, the number for that, the port is 587. And we click, uh, actually, I would also suggest do not save copies of sent items, but you know, it's just me. Uh, you don't have to, but it doesn't really matter. Finally, click next. It'll start logging in, complete, and it'll send a test email and log you into your Outlook finally. Now, like I said, I personally don't like using Outlook, but this is a question that has come up to a lot of uh, my family members. So I wanted to create this little tutorial to show you guys that it's it's very possible uh, to get this to work. Now, as you can see here, uh, the connection will start, uh, you know, accessing all your emails. It'll start synchronizing, and you can use your Outlook with Gmail as you wish. <sighs> Good old Outlook. Now on the newer Outlook, there is possibilities where you can actually connect this through the exchange. Um, but if you're using um, 2013 or 2016, you might have to do this. So again, not for every version. There are some new, newer version, but I believe Office 365 also has this issue for some reason. It's just willy nilly. It kind of chooses which version it has problems with. Um, but if you have this problem, this is a way to solve it. Friends, Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped somebody. If it has, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please tap that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps the channel and it really helps me to continue doing things like that because it means, hey, if you guys like it, I'll, I'll create more content like this. Thank you very much. I'll catch you guys in another one. Bye.